Hi, my name is Clarence Simpson, and this is Dino Dinner Time, a tile-laying microgame where players are each building a ranch that houses dinosaurs. You'll earn points by feeding your dinosaurs, but watch out for tar pits and remember that your carnivores will eat your herbivores if you're not careful. Dino Dinner Time consists primarily of a single deck of double-sided cards. One side is the ranch side, and you'll tile these cards together to build your ranch and feed your dinosaurs. The other side is the goal side, which will earn you bonus points for having certain features in your ranch. Let's take a look at the symbols on the ranch cards. There are both carnivores and herbivores, and there are large, medium, and small versions of each. Each also has their own preferred food source. Ranch cards are laid down like tiles and must be either adjacent to or at least a half edge of an existing card on your ranch or it must overlap a portion of an existing card in your ranch. The most important concept to keep in mind when laying out your ranch is the concept of dinosaur herds. A herd is a contiguous set of orthogonally adjacent dinosaurs of the same species. Herds are important because a herd of dinosaurs always lives, eats, and dies together as a group. Let's look at some examples of how this works. This is an example ranch. Nothing is scored until the end of the game, but when the game ends, we start by looking at herds. Here we see all the herds in this ranch circled. Every other dinosaur in the ranch is an individual dinosaur considered a herd of one. The dashed lines are fences that serve to break adjacency. So these triceratops over here are separated into two herds because of this fence. Next, let's take a look at tar pits. If any dinosaur within a herd is adjacent to a tar pit, the entire herd falls into the tar pit. Let's talk about feeding next. First, we look at the carnivores. If a carnivore herd is adjacent to meat, then the whole herd is fed. If it cannot find meat, it will eat any adjacent herds of herbivores of the same size or smaller. This velociraptor with no meat eats this whole herd of stegosaurus. The stegosaurus are dead, but the velociraptor is considered fed. Finally, any herbivore that avoids falling in a tar pit and getting eaten by carnivores are considered fed if they are adjacent to a berry bush. These triceratops lucked out. They would have been eaten by the Allosaurus if it hadn't fallen into that tar pit. That covers the ranch sides of the cards, but on the other side of each card you'll see various goals. They give you extra points at the end of the game for having certain features in your ranch. Lastly, let's cover how you actually get your cards. There will be a central market with three goal cards and three ranch cards. On your turn, you'll take one of these cards. If you take a goal card, it refills from the deck. If you take a ranch card, the goal card above it slides down and flips over. The game ends when the last card is taken by a player. Then count up your dinosaurs that are living and fed. You get 3 points per large, 2 points per medium, and 1 point per small. Add in the points from any goal cards you claimed, and that's your final score. That covers the whole game. Thanks for listening.